I'm at the Apis Core showroom in Melbourne, Florida, and Jen is going to give us a look around the printer, a wall demonstrating the insulation, electrical, mechanical, plumbing setup. We're going to get all the details from their showroom here in Florida. Hi, I'm Jen with Apis Core. I'm the business operations manager here. Welcome to the showroom. This is Frank, our 3D printer. You can also come and see some samples of our 3D printed walls and how the electrical, mechanical, and plumbing are integrated into our printed wall sample. Hi, I'm Abigail, Executive Assistant to the CEO. As you can see over here, we have um, a sample of our wall, just like traditional. You can um, apply traditional finishes as well. There's stucco, brick veneer, smooth it out, paint it. It's very customizable. Our printed walls are paint ready. Stucco seems to be a very dirty word with all the litigation in the industry with the building officials right now. Stucco is not required for the 3D printed walls. So as you can see from the printed wall sample, this is an illustration of how the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing can all be incorporated into the 3D printed wall cavity. The rebar, the electrical, and the plumbing are incorporated into the wall cavity. The rebar and insulation are done according to local building code. Plumbing and electrical cuts can be made after the wall is printed. We have a wall installation just so that people are able to see that it is incorporated very simply just as it is with traditional concrete masonry block construction. And this was added to transport it. Typically you don't transport 3D printed walls, but we've had such a high demand for people asking to see them that we went ahead and brought one in here for you. This is a printed wall sample showing the exterior of a home without stucco just showing the natural 3D printed texture and pattern. It's very appealing. For more information you can visit our website at www.apiscore.com that's A-P-I-S hyphen C-O-R dot com. We've also seen this printer in Dubai where it constructed the largest 3D printed building in the world as of now. There still hasn't been a bigger building printed. Hopefully there will be one soon. I'm eager to see an Apis Core print in the States. Apparently there's one in Michigan, but I don't have the exact address of that print yet. Apis Core has certainly been an interesting name in the industry with a lot of projects going on from the get-go. They were the first company I met with in person back in Boston in 2018. I did get to see their printer and some broken remnants from a NASA project that they completed and did very well in. It's great that they've built this showroom so that people can come check out a 3D printed wall in person and get a better understanding of how the different trades interact with this new technology that seeks to revolutionize the construction industry. People hear 3D printed house and it can be an intimidating concept that people may not be able to easily wrap their head around without a visual representation. This wall shows you how the window goes in, it shows you how the wall can be transported, and it also demonstrates a pretty premium finish. I'm certainly eager to see what comes next from Apis Core. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and check out some of the other videos I've done with all the companies around the world 3D printing houses and automating construction. There's also a virtual village where you can take digital tours that I've recorded using a 360 camera. That way you can all appreciate the printed homes around the world without having to leave the comfort of your home. I also have a course available, How to 3D Print a House, at the link in the description. I hope you've enjoyed the Apis Core showroom, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.